In today's video, we will take aesthetic pictures. There is no party going on. It's just me starting a new video. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and I turned on those lights just to film this intro. The idea of this video is me trying to take aesthetic pictures. I mean that type of aesthetic pictures that are currently popular on the internet and I was mentioning that just because aesthetic is the definition of beauty so basically everything that's beautiful it's basically aesthetic and aesthetically pleasing but today i just want to try to go for that theme insta theme kind of aesthetic pictures you know what i mean what's currently popular on the internet and yeah let's see how it goes Step one is to get the inspo and for this Pinterest was very helpful especially because I wanted to go for a white aesthetic kind of theme. I always was very interested in those bright, white, beautiful, clean type of pictures but I always ended up not having that type of theme. So this time I will specifically go and create those type of pictures. Step two is to do a bit of planning. How do you want to take the pictures? What type of pictures you want to get? What do you want to use in these pictures? What are the pictures about? So you will have to find some props, some things you want to show in the pictures and so on. So do a bit of planning, find your props. Basically do what you have to do after you gain all the inspo and get ready to take the pictures. Step three is to actually take the pictures. Yay, we finally get to this moment. So you got the inspo, you got the props, you planned everything, you have everything ready. It's time to take those photos. Use your phone, use a camera if you want. It doesn't really matter. Nowadays, the phone can provide you very good quality. In my case, I'm just gonna use my camera since I have two cameras. I'm gonna use one of them and take those pictures. In one of the pictures, I wanna be some sort of a makeup and since I have such a simple look today I just decided to do something white on my eyes so I can take a close-up of my eyes and it's gonna be something white and here in one of these um, lenses thing I have some pigments and one of the pigments is just a beautiful white shimmer down from NYX it's a shimmery white type of uh, pigment so I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these on my eyes today to create a white aesthetic makeup look. This is the pigment that I want to use and here I have some multi-mixing, multitasker mixing something from NYX. This is a product that you mix in your pigment so you get a gel type of liner or something. So I'm gonna mix a bit of this with the pigment right here. Now, to be honest with you, it's hard to photograph shiny situations and I have a very sparkly and shiny situation on the eye. So I'm playing around with the ring light so I get everything in the picture. So yeah, let's see. These ones look nice. I will just have to edit them. I also have to remove this uh, makeup from my eye because I don't want to have this look for the rest of the video. Moving on to another photo idea that I have. We have to prepare some props and I guess in one of those boxes I keep down there I should have a satin white fabric. If this room wasn't a mess well, it's not too late to make it. I don't even know what's in these boxes, to be honest. Oh, oh, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was the white satin fabric, but it's another thing. 
Okay, this is the box with the white fabric. The satin fabric is very wrinkly, so I'll just go ahead and steam it and I will be back here. I steamed the fabric, at least a part of it, the part that we are about to use to take the picture. For this picture, I'm gonna use this set of gold earrings. I'm gonna take them off and we will place them in the fabric. For my next idea, I got a bunch of pearls here, but we still need a final element which we can find in the garden. It is the next day and it's also time to create more aesthetic pictures because this is all about so we're gonna go outside because there we have some little props we need to pick up and then we will be back here i will try to create a little studio that is gonna help me with a lot more than just this video but it's a good opportunity to share everything with you so let's go Choo -choo. Remember the ornamental stones? Yeah, we could use some of those as props in pictures and we still have a lot of them. I got a little bag, I'm gonna put some of these stones in and bring them upstairs so we can take pictures. <laughs> My husband got me these boots which are so beautiful so I put this outfit together so I can take some pictures. I wish I had a longer shirt. I mean this is not even my shirt, this is my husband's shirt. I wish it was a bit longer but I'm gonna make it work somehow. And yeah, I put the blazer over and I have like a nice bright outfit that I think it's gonna work with the white theme I'm going for. I am here in the living room. I will use this white background as my background for these pictures so I can keep on the white aesthetic. <laughs> Yesterday I was out doing some shopping and I went into a store and they had some little hat statues, they had multiple of them and I took a picture, a white aesthetic picture in the store, instead of the picture here so you can see it. Anyways, today it's another day and we continue with the whole white aesthetic idea. It is finally the time to take the last aesthetic picture of this video. But for that, we need a proper hairstyle. In this box right here, I have a bunch of pearly hair clips. So we will use them to make something cool. Not much about how it's supposed to look like. I just got this idea that I should clip all the pearly hair clips that I have. So let's see how it's gonna be them like this i still have a bunch so oh no i'm gonna put one of these so it's gonna match 
the other one all right i'm gonna move on to the other side i think this is about right maybe i'm gonna bring this ones like in front and it's time to add a pop of color on the lips i will go for a red lipstick now that i have my look on i'm ready to go and take the picture same living room wall i'm gonna turn the lights on and i also got these satin gloves with me i think uh, they will complete the look very nice And now we got to the last step, which is editing and posting. Now that we have the pictures ready, it's time to edit them so they look their best way possible. And since I went for that white aesthetic kind of theme, I'm gonna edit them to be bright and clean. So I'm gonna walk you through the whole editing process so you know what I'm doing. During this video, you've seen me taking pictures, aesthetic pictures, but now it's finally the moment when I show you how to edit one and because you already know i went for a white aesthetic right now i'm wearing this uh, white situation i took pictures by the white background and the first app that i will use to edit the picture that i took is snapseed i'm gonna open the first picture uh, i like this picture very much but we still have some things that we need to fix first i will crop the photo like so i think this looks nice but we have to fix the curtain situation behind me because i didn't pay much attention on that and i just realized that i love the picture but i have that curtain behind so i will use the cleaning tool i know something like that and i will clean the uh, situation in the back like so since we already are in the snapseed app i will also work a bit on the perspective of the picture i usually like to go for this type of things especially because sometimes the lens of the camera uh, distorts the situation a bit and since i took the picture with a wide angle it usually elongates the sides and everything so i'm gonna try and see what looks better in this situation since I don't have a heavy makeup on the face because I prefer to edit the blemishes if I want to instead of applying a lot of makeup, I see no point in doing this because who sees me in real life and sees my blemishes, I don't care. But if I want to take this type of aesthetic pictures, of course, I don't want to let every red spot over there. So I'm gonna clean them a bit like this uh, big spot that I have on the face just nice and pretty something like this keep in mind that this type of portrait pictures might take a bit longer editing or it might require multiple multiple apps just because you want to edit remove some blemishes maybe brighten up the background and so on and after you're done with light colors contrast and everything you're basically left with the base photo and then you can go ahead and go into different apps and add filters if you want to for example if you are looking for that type of aesthetic picture prequel is an app that has all the filters that can go with different type of style with a retro type of aesthetic uh, you can add glitter stars all all type of stuff i will show you right now and this right now in this state is like the base photo of course i like it like it is i mean i could keep it like that if i want to but of course you can go ahead and add another type of filters if you want look at this one for example it goes very well with this white aesthetic if i do say so myself but for now i'm gonna walk you through this app so you can see all types of filters you can add to your photos you can add this type of camera style situation if you're into this type of style you can add scratches this looks nice actually has this vintage type of situation to it 
And of course you can edit the intensity of the filter and the grain or the stars or whatever it is in this filter. And you can go for whatever you like or whatever you think it's work with your photo. For example, this prism one, it works nice with the picture. I love it. Even this one, if you have a lot uh, to pick from, just have to try them on and see how it is. Back to my normal hair and we can finally talk about what happened with my Instagram after posting these aesthetic pictures. First of all, the photos are nice, I like them, but the engagement didn't increase at all. I didn't really expect it to increase because I already know that if I am not in the picture, the picture will have basically just a few likes and that's that. If I post a picture with myself, everything goes normally, let's say, but just by posting aesthetic pictures or just because they are a type of aesthetic pictures doesn't really make any change. Just for me, because I like to see them and I have no problem with low engagement. I don't really care that much. Other than that, it was a fun experience. It's always nice to try out new type of photography or try out new aesthetics or themes for Instagram. So if you want me to try more, leave me in the comments down below which kind of aesthetic you want me to try out. And yeah, for today, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.